okay so let us now solve uh, the dsa learning series uh, um, the first problem in that it was released today and i think it's about uh, linear data structures like arrays vectors and other things so, yeah so this is a learning series and uh, the second part of that is linear data structures so the first question let's try to solve that chef and street food in chefland there is a very famous street where n types of street food from 1 to n are offered for each i S of I stores offer ith type of food and VI is the price of each food and PI people come to buy it. Each of these people, okay, each of these people buy one food, one piece, sorry, one piece of the ith food type. Chef is planning to open a new store he could offer n types, one of the n types. Chef assumes that people who want to buy the type of food he'd offer will split equally among all stores that offer it. So if there are three stores and nine people come, to each store three people come. So three people go to each store and if p is not divisible by any of the stores then only floor value of p by s people will go and buy food from chef you have to maximize his daily profit print the maximum profit t test cases and okay, input is si pi vi so if n is 3 they are given this and they say chef should offer food of second type two people would buy so this is s number of stores this number of people so three people go to each store three into no okay we'll see that we'll type something at least So N denotes the number of food items, food types. S denotes stores, P is the people and V is the price. So I'm just inputting everything now. Chef should offer second type. This why should chef offer second type? P by S is floor value. If P is uh, divisible by S, then we will get P by S. Let's just read the question once again. Chef is planning to open a new store at this street where he would 
offer food of and okay oh okay so chef will open a store he will not occupy an existing store so it if chef opens his store in the second type s will become 3 it won't remain 2 so then if there are three stores six people will distrib- uh, will split themselves and two people will go to each store so 2 into 6 so for this case if chef goes here there will be five stores already four are here so 6 by 5 floor value is 1 1 into 8 8 okay let me just confirm if it is correct now let's take the second example if there are seven stores chef will go to okay chef has to go obviously over here only but then he will get zero why zero yeah 7 by 7 by 8 floor value is zero okay so yeah i think so maybe we'll just take a variable max and some num num equal to s of i plus 1 into sorry if p of i mod s of i plus 1 Equal to equal to zero. Actually, we don't have to do this. Division is anyway floor. So if I do seven by two, it should anyway give me three. I don't have to check. So I think num equal to p of i by s of i. Plus one, the whole thing into v of i. If max less than num, max equal to num. Yeah, I think this should give the answer. Let me just. copy this okay i have not declared i um <coughs> p by i sorry p of i by s of i plus 1 do v of i i hope it will work Shall we just check the constraints? Everything greater than one, less than ten thousand. Should I keep it long? Long int. Maybe I'll keep it long int.
I don't know why it's taking so much time. Okay. Yeah, so that was pretty okay only. I think the main part which people might have missed or have a chance missing is this line. Like, you know, this. Sorry for that. Chef is opening a new store. So he's not going to occupy already existing one. He's going to open. So you have to make this column plus one. So you have to increment uh, the entire number of stores with one. Then you will get the answer. Fairly decent question. So I'll be solving the next one. Bye.